Ah, <sighs> I think it is time for us to pick it. Uh, right back on up, shall we? Where the heck are we in this game? Ha! <laughs> what were we doing? Where be we? Uh... I don't even know which world we're in. Hello, hello! Shit. Are we in the another world or are we in our world? Which world are we? World names. On. Okay, we're in another world. We figured it out, guys! We know where we are! <laughs> uh. Hello, hello, though! How are you? <laughs> We're getting some techs for people. We're gonna get Karsh's tech. Good. It's Friday, which means it's the weekend. And you know how much we enjoy not having to work. <clears throat> anyway, uh, we were told to bring Karsh here to see Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper's here in the house where Garai's stuff is. You know, whatever. I'm attempting to do this by memory because I don't remember. Oh, hey, we did it by memory. I'm so good at this game. Oh, right, we needed something here. Ba da da. Um. Tear of Hate? No, that wasn't the item. Garai Keepsake. There we go. <coughs> Notice there are no enemies in the area. I don't know what it means either. I was just saying notice that there are no enemies in the area. Oh, I needed to be over there. Yar. Okay. <clears throat> We have got revenge. <laughs> Shift your status effects onto enemies. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just gives you deef and other deef. We don't care about deef, yo. <coughs> so you need a specific person to summon the Hydra. The question is, who? I don't know. We're here to learn Karsh's, uh, level 7 tech skill. Salt and pepper! This is it, Karsh! You, you actually shook it here! Do you knowingly know why we are here? Hell no, what? Am I supposed to? Don't shake ignorance. 
we came to investigate what happened here. So gosh, we have stood by your side, unable to shake loose this one suspicion we had. Suspicion? We believe you may have killed Sir Dario. And by shaking it here, our suspicion has turned to conviction. Sir Kosh, we are executing you for the murder of Sir Dario. 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 <coughs> How is your training going, everyone? Miss Riddell. Oh, I brought something special for everyone today. Oh, really? What is it? What is it? Vibrant churros? Those are like churros, but with like poison in them. <coughs> Wrong answer, Glenn Max. Are they really that good? Uh huh, I can chop down ten of those easily. <coughs> ah, you're always like that. Those churros were originally iron rations for knights. Overeating is not good discipline. So, Miss Riddell, what have you brought us? Please don't make us hold our breath too long. Yeah, I found them in Fossil Valley, aren't they pretty? Ah, oh, shoot, it's just some flowers. Miss Riddell, did you go to the valley by yourself? What, I'm not allowed to? It's just the valley. I'm sure it's safe enough. I have enough for everyone. I will give some to you boys. Glenn doesn't want any, right? <coughs> Since you got into the trouble getting them, I'll take one too. If I plant the seeds, I might get some good fruit from it. Oh, well, how silly of you, Glenn. You go, Glenn. I don't think it will grow any fruit, though. <clears throat> you don't know until you try. Gosh, might not like things like flowers, but... No, it's not that. <laughs> Baby Karsh! You brought me one, too. This is beautiful. What kind of flower could this be? It is a bell flower. Miss Riddell, if you ever wish for one of those flowers, I will go for you instead if anything should happen to you. Let us go together. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes, very well. Gosh, are you listening? Huh? Oh, sorry. So what is it? What's with the formality? Um, how should I... Actually, I... <clears throat> Why are you acting so strange? Spit it out. Uh, I, to tell you the truth... Gosh, we are pledged to marry. I have already told Daddy about it. <clears throat> that is what I wanted to tell you. Will you bless us with your approval, Gosh? Mary? So that's it. Well, congratulations. So when is it going to be and where? We haven't decided on a date yet. We still need to finish surveying the Isle of the Damned first. It's just that... Just what? <clears throat> I want the wedding here. The place where we have cried together, laughed together, and shared our dreams together. <laughs> you never change, Dario. Hey, then I'll have to fill this dull, vacant lot with loads of bellflowers. Just tell me if I can help you in any way. <clears throat> Thank you, Kosh. Poor Kosh. This must be it. <clears throat> Gosh, why are you in such a hurry? The enemy is not going anywhere and the footing here is bad. Why do you always have to be like that, Dario? The Massimune may be in there. Any Dragoon would be hyped to see that thing. Shaker Brothers, you stay here. Sir! Sir! Let's get going, Dario. Fine. Ah, oh, it's the Massimune. Again. Is that the mass immune? Uh, was I really just possessed by that devilish sword driven by such intense feelings of envy and hatred? Maybe deep inside me I was filled with hatred. Dario, the one whom I could never beat, no matter how much I tried, the one who stole Riddell's heart from me. What if that sword does not embed hatred into the mind of its wielder, but instead draws out and ignites the flame of hatred hidden within the hearts of men? If that hatred was something deep within the wielder to begin with, then what have I? Oh, Glenn. <clears throat> so, so you do know something about it. Take it easy. Why the hell do I have to fight you guys? No time for questions. What the hell? Well. 
time to fight salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt, salt, salt and pepper. Well, this is the same as all the others, but <clears throat> let's see it. Mr. Salt right there got peppered with a dragon. I mean, I don't care if Karsh lives or dies. I just want to see all of his abilities, and then he can die. <clears throat> all I need is Starkey and Lynx. Why can't I use it? Weird. You, sir, just defend yourself. Thunderstorm! Karsh is dead. Without a doubt. Which is okay. It was expected. Learned a new ability! Listen to me, I did not kill Dario. No, the time will come when I can speak the truth, but I can't just yet. I hope you understand. Sakash! I have come to an understanding after that battle we just had. You are not an evil person. You would never kill your best friend. Please forgive us. Looking back now, you were the one who took us under our, your wing, even though we were Dragoon outcasts. You are very special to us, Sakash. We believe you. Goodbye! Memento pendant. Thanks, I'll take good care of it. What's it do? I don't know. It's an item. It does nothing when I click on it. <laughs> So yeah, it seems like for this game, you only had two diverging paths, really? And they didn't really do that much difference to the actual, like, story story. Oops, I forgot to equip you with it. I should do that. I always forget, I have to actually allocate people with their abilities, which 
doesn't make the most amount of sense. Oh yeah, I guess I could have given you Sonja. But... We'll see Sonja at some point, Sean. Oh, it is absolutely impressive, but, like, I think there's only two places where it diverges. Which is, uh, the first time you're breaking into Viper Manor, where you have to either, like, choose one, two, or three. And then the other one is save, um, your friend or not. Honestly, that feels like the only ones you have to actually do stuff for. Other than that, it's, you know, whatever. That's a pretty strong skill. Like, you're like, it was only 189. Well, yes. But you have to consider the fact it was only 189 on a character that has no extra items or stats. <laughs> so when you take that into effect, you're like, okay, that's a little impressive. You know? Codswallop. Oh, uh, well. Looks like Starkey is, uh, angered again. He's been enraged. Starkey's rage against the machine. Please stop hitting your party members, Starkey. Right. So there is no quote unquote wrong choice because you can, in the end, get every character. It's just going to take, you know, new game pluses to do so. Mm. Karsh is dead. Again. So, the non-linear aspect is just when you get your characters. Which, thankfully, like, it only slightly adjusts how you get through the game for those small sections, you know? Hey, thank you for the follow. But, I mean, other than that, like, you're still gonna get to this point. And like, yeah, you don't have to recruit all these people. You don't have to go get all the summon, uh, whatever they're called, elements, attributes, elements, but you can. Which is good, because I mean, I'm just like you. I don't like missing out on things. I don't like doing the wrong thing. I want to do as much as I possibly can. Goldove. Uh, is that over here? No. That's over here. Sergei, isn't there something strange about this village? What's going on? People are gathering over there. Let's go find out. Poor eight soldiers in a small village like this? But something's odd. Who's that lady? You, you dare to resist the poor military? Uh, so what if I resist? Why don't you stop hiding behind your men and try to stop me yourself? Uh, I'll make you regret that. Uh, go seize the girl. Why, Mesa? Uh, just don't talk back. This is a direct order. Get on with it. Look at those deflated men yeah, on the background. Y you heard us seize your resistance. A woman should be more gentle and ladylike. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> the moment you tell an ass-kicking lady she needs to be more gentle, he's dead. 
There, that'll teach you a lesson, oh great soldier man. Or do you need another round? Why isn't this Sir Lynx? We cannot arrest this girl on her own. Please help us, sir. There are more of you, but you're still no match for me. Leave this village now. Well, this is awkward. Sorry. How dare you punch my baby dragon in his little noggin? You do not boop his snoot without permission. Do you believe how rude she is? She's booping his snoot. And then snooting his boop. She's out of this world! Looks like this girl's blasting off again! Masterful work, sir. Lynx, I knew we could count on you, sir. Please, thank you for your troubles. Please leave the rest to us. We'll take her into custody. Uh, wait, Stark, you order you and your troops to return to headquarters. We will take care of this girl. This village will be under Sir Lynx's command until further notice. Report that back to High Command. But that will be too much trouble for. Didn't you hear? This is an order from your superior officer, Dragon. Uh, Stark, you're just having too much fun ordering people. If you disobey, you will be court martialed. Do I make self clear? Y yes, sir. We'll gather troops and head back to the headquarters. You say that you are really Sergei? Even though you are in a different body? I don't know what happened, but you need to get back to your true self. I can't believe it. Is it possible that such a thing can occur? <clears throat> hey, even you should not get up so soon. Are you alright? Even though you are a trained fighter, you should refrain from pushing yourself too hard. I'll be fine, but I almost bit the big one this time. <laughs> Looks like I'm in need of more training. Ooh, that hurts. It's proof that you are really Sergei when you regain your true form. I will lend you this brooch. Orla, is that your sister's? It's all right for now. Listen, Sergei, promise me this. When you have successfully gained your true form, come visit me. I will gladly aid you then. <laughs> okay. I've caused much trouble for you dudes. <laughs> yeah. That surfer dude would be on your side if, uh, you know, you actually, um... 
chose not to save what's her face? Yeah, that one! Thanks. You're so good at knowing the names I can't ever remember. You're like, nah, at this point I just expect it. Well, an okay better an okay memory is better than a goldfish memory. <coughs> Don't you know? I'm gonna give you the frog prince. For now. <clears throat> I love music and RPGs. <coughs> That's about all you need to know. Lava. Are you me? I'd like to point out just how well everybody seems to take it in this game when we just introduce them to themselves. Don't even associate yourself with me. You're being a sissy, Fargo. You're pathetic. I, too, had the possibility of becoming a jelly belly like yourself. <clears throat> I know about the plan. We're moving the ship along with Nikki to marble and showering the island with his vol song at full volume. Once the dream spirits awaken, we'll defeat them one by one. My ship, the Zelbus, the ship can no longer set sail. I can't steer it. Ha! Who's asking you anyway? <clears throat> Listen up, mateys. This ship is no longer the Zelda Beast, but the SS Invincible. We'll set a course for Marble and man your stations. It's useless. We'll see about that. Alright, take him back a beautiful island of Marble. Yar! Har har! How the? You don't even know that the desire to return to one's home is steering this ship forward. You mean the demi humans? Once this ship reaches marble, Nikki will begin his concert. We gotta do what we can to wake those monsters from their nightmare. So long, Fargo. I've come to be senses. It's time you did the same. Yar! <laughs> Looks like they finally did it. Behold, my people, Marble is straight ahead. Well then, it's about time we get down to business. Ah, it's the, it's the song of their people, the victory theme. Apparently it is. <laughs> the song of their people is the victory cry. <laughs> For how many dreams have I awakened? How many morrows have passed? The days when victory meant everything have come to an end. Yesterday's friends become tomorrow's foes, so flow the days filled with betrayal and enmity. 
Once one reaches the summit, all that remains is one's inevitable downfall. All has become lost. The innumerable wounds, once decorations of war, have begun instead to ache. Ah, have I awoken? Where might I be? Could this be the grave of the narwhals that is said to lie hidden in the seas? <clears throat> How dramatic. Where am I? <clears throat> so I am all alone, just deserts. Just deserts for the likes of me. I think it should be just deserts, but not, not just deserts, but you know, whatever. Betrayed by the very ones in whom I trusted, gone are the friends with whom I shared my dreams, alone with no lover to share my sorrows. Hither. Summon thither or hither. <laughs> Is it thee, my savior, sweet? Manly Mariner. Mermaiden. <laughs> Blah. We don't need to hear their play. It's just a play. A play for the plays of the plays. Such, such dramatics, yo. Yes, yes. I love how the it, everything just went absolutely dead silent. Just push. Just a rock star, you know. As I thought, I'm unable to perform such music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love how it's just dead silence. <laughs> it's terrible, void of all emotion. Yep. Who would have thought a rock melody would be happening in a uh, RPG? It is better. <laughs> Although they're like, eh, it's kind of better. And then it's just a pure black screen. That's a cool game.
The music's good though. Ah, it's just beautiful. Yes, yes. Again, I know they're supposed to sing a song to save the island, and instead they're just reenacting a play. I guess, you know. <laughs> they're just doing whatever they want. Because why not? It's those artsy types, you know. You can't do something simple. It's gotta be dramatic. This game would benefit greatly from uh, voice acting, but then again, since this is just simply a port of a very, very old game, no surprise. But I would love it if they did do a uh, remake of this game. And Chrono Trigger, of course. I, you know, the twenty, the two thousands have just been, you know, the hey, let's remake all of the games better. So let's continue seeing that. Chrono Cross remake, even though they just released this Radical Dreamers edition on Steam and the Switch. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Zelbis, does the song call out to your heart? You taught me the song for a long time. I've been trying to regain what I lost, but to no avail. But now I feel as if the one important thing has finally arrived or returned, thanks to the irreplaceable treasure you left behind. You're happy for me, too. <laughs> Fargo just needed the shit beat into him. And though she said that I, too, was unable to fulfill the promise I made Zelbis. Her dream is also my dream, Zelbis. I promise never to use this attack again, but there is no avoiding it. Please forgive me. This time I will protect you. Broke the seal of Invincible. Cool. We'll put that on after we see uh, our summon. Hello! Mm -hmm. Yo guys, I'm sure you've noticed something ain't right. I know they're harmless, but they've grown in number. If these monsters are somebody's bad dream, then who's or what's dream? Then does that mean that if these monsters die, someone or something will wake up? But the dreamer is ten times as hasty as this nightmare. It's probably some big gnarly dragon. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're out of here. Goodbye. I can see that. Welcome back. Yeah, but if that was the case, you would have just been watching a while ago. Also, I saw your snap. Saying goodbye to the link, so... I kind of put two and two together. That's the frog prince! Exactly.
It's trying to steal my magic! Well, fuck your chicken strips, bruh. Oh yes, yes, the chicken strips. I'm gonna make a really dumb joke and it's gonna make me laugh, but... See, you always hear about the chicken strip, but what about the chicken clothes? It never gets clothed, it just strips. Anyway, that is all. <laughs> it's true. I only ever hear about the chicken strips. But not the chicken dressing. Come on, people. I made it better on my second attempt. Okay. I did better again later. I tried. No, I know. Y'all don't find me funny. I already know that. That's common knowledge. The question, are you not entertained, it clearly is, no, we're not. <laughs> Do I have a Lagoonite? That's a double gang. I have a Lagoonate, not- oh, that is a Lagoonate. Well... Rip. Y'all are just vicious today is all I'm gonna say. that, but you're not offering it. Chad's bullying me. That's okay, I deserve it, so. 
<laughs> anyway. Let's grab our real team back again. Is it a Granny Smith? Is it a sweet apple? What kind of apple we talking? Y'all are bullying my dragon. Well, that's why I was asking. Like, you can give me an apple, but if it's not a good apple... For all I know, it could be a rotten apple. I just gotta cover all my bases. I don't know what y'all are up to. <laughs> give me those... You could've just be trying to give me those squishy, like, monkey brain... wild fruit thingies. I don't even remember what they were. They used to be at my old house. One I haven't lived at since, like, 99. Like, 24 years ago. I don't either. I just remember they were, like, green, and they look like brains. I called them monkey brains as a kid. I'm a Google. It is called a monkey brain plant. Well, they, they some people call the fruit monkey brain. It's called a Maclura palmifera. Maclura palmifera. Jesus Christ, it's not spelling it right. M A C L U R A P O M I F E R A. It's a fruit! Okay? It's a wild fruit! I can see- yeah. I- yeah, I- I don't know.
I guess, yeah, I, I remember those as a kid. They grew in a field behind my house. <laughs> uh huh. Ah. Uh -huh. I didn't say it was the nicest thing in the world. It was a memory that came to mind when I started talking about nasty potential apples you guys could be offering me. Rayburn? Is that like some kind of sick, uh, uh, diss you give to your bro? <laughs> yeah, Rayburn! I've never heard of Rayburn. I figured when you mentioned an Agala. Don't worry, I, I picked up the context for it, but I wanted to make my joke anyway. Yeah, I've never heard of it, though. I don't remember which kind I get at the store. I just purchase whatever. Everybody's in a stip stab mood. Granny Smith? Sure we don't have Empire Apples here. <sighs> it's not a brand I recognize, at least. I said brand, I meant type, sorry. Cause I cause I was thinking like, well, what kinds can I get? Like Gala, Granny, and other things? And I said I just said brand. It should be type, you're right. My bad.
I'd rather have a pizza type. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Pretty sure my store has sold the cotton candy flavored apples before. Well, yeah, of course. Who the fuck would? I guess those weirdos who don't like pizza. Look at me, so dismissive. <laughs> All right, so for this, we have to clear out everything. This is actually required for the game, in case you didn't know. You didn't, but now you do. Now, the weirdo are the people who don't like pizza, not pizza apples. <laughs> Just to clarify. I recognize some people just wouldn't be all in on a pizza apple. And that's their loss. Natural selection. Exactly. Y'all get me. Why can't I call the mothership? My people have the proper equipment. It feels like they're not doing much damage. No, they, 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 they do. I think there's two more. Y'all are really rude to Starkey. Y'all in the game, that is. I thought I should clarify. Rock ballad for this is pretty nice. May kick me three times for a total of zero. Ten out of the ten, my dudes. So, now that you've gotten to see this, like, battle system more and more, what do you all think about it? It's incredibly different with the whole field effects up there, uh, as well as the fact that you have... Um... Like, uh... Stamina, determining how many turns you can take, and your moves have different stamina, or if you use a technique, magic, whatever you want to call it, it eats up your entire stamina bar of seven, no matter how much you have left, which puts you in, obviously, a deficit.
All that for like, didn't even kill the dude. Shame! A dragon's cry can be heard in the distance. It is. It's incredibly overcomplicated. Well, yeah. It could be worse. It could be Final Fantasy 13. One. Final Fantasy 13, one. I don't like 13-1. ATB system or most of the combat. Let's play spot the character I should talk to in this room. That's right, it's the colorful one. Oh, it's you. I always get like this after a gig, you know? Pretty sad sight, ain't it? A grown woman moping around like a little girl. I know our gig is just a show, but I do have feelings for him. Anyway, we're on vacation now, so why don't you take me with you? Okay. I want to see her abilities, so. Might as well take her with us, right? Just get a couple of quick fights in so we can see all of her uh, techs. No, no, no. Sexy wing. You didn't even see the wink! Bullshit! <laughs> I'm willing to take the chance. Is that what the internet people mean when they ask the ladies to step on them?
Of course not. Why would you even know? Of course, of course. Silly question of me to ask. Oh, come on. Why can't these people use summons? Uh... Dingo ate my baby! Okay. Time to go hunting. What this? That's a navel. 
What's this? Ah. Lingo, 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 lingo. A lot of dangerous things in here. Just checking to see if there were any like items hidden in the area. The answer was no. What in God's name are those things? Hello, sir. We know what these are. Talking about those arachnid fox. Wonder how Parga's gonna handle himself now. Now that he has actual, like, equipment. You punch!
Oh, I'm gonna, gonna need to give Starkey a different Tech 7. Maybe I'll give him the Unicorn. It wouldn't be a bad idea to start a boss fight to boost up our death and death. Fuck off, dude. You missed two 85% in a row. And Starkey hit a 72. I suck at hitting things that are within my favor. God, why am I so unlucky? Not a quip. Horns up here, I believe. Yeah. All right, what the fuck is this crab-like motherfucker? Who the fuck are you? Side stepper. Pew, 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 pew. We step into the side. Why can't I use it? I literally do not understand. I need to have a certain, like, magic level? No, you need to be at the tech level, which is seven, and it has to be your characteristic, which for the unicorn is white. I'm gonna look that up, because I don't understand. I don't know. Oh. Uh, don't need to look up monkey brains anymore. How to use summons. Noxious. To use a summon, you must be of that elemental color and set the field to be only that color. So what it's saying is, fuck you and fuck Fuck your chicken strips. In particular. 
You should realize by now, it's always the chicken strips. Honestly, it's a very good old vine, if that lets you know how old it is. Someone's about to lose their VIP. Cause you know what I say? That they're fighting words. <laughs> Them fighting words there, boy. No need. People who have blasphemy against pizza don't last long anyway. We don't take kindly to those types, Randia. Vibe on you. It's on Draggy, isn't it? Well, that's how the chicken crumbles. That's how the cookie strips. Sergei, the water dragon's just beyond hair. Yar! The time has come. I shall grant my powers to the one who seeks to break the eternal chains of fate. I seek the dragon's god's blessing. Dost thou need the powers of the sleeping dragons to cross the dead sea? Dost thou seek to break the chains of fate? A son of man to challenge the goddess of fate. Fascinating, then confront my trials. For I am the frog who pretends to be a dragon. I'm going to point out that uh, the port does not make that transition look nice at all. That's a little rude, don't you think? Smacking me a couple times. He's just like, kabam! Kabam! I'm like, hey! 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 
What's going on? Yeah, yeah. The music sounds so sad, honestly. We can summon the mother! Ship. The ship of all mothers. Nine hundred Dimaggio, yo. That was nice. That didn't do much. Though it had nice bubble gurgling effects. He's almost dead. Is he dead? It's not really what I would call a dragon, but I like their interpretation of it. We got a blue whale! Whale, 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 whale. Well done, son of man. Thy strength is worthy of my powers. Take with thee my prayers. We have gotten a blue relic. I too shall watch over thy fate, how thou strugglest to live, and how thou facest death. Oh, I've got the flu. Curses. Achoo. Don't worry, we got medicine. Our flu is fixed. Anybody get anything new? You got one, two, three, four new. No new. No new. That uh, I'd love to add thunderstorm, but Up the si there we go. Good job, Linksy Poo.
I don't think I've been up here before, have I? Yes. Yes, I have. I was trying to run onto it when I needed to click A onto it, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Next up, ow, oh, it's the Earth Dragon. <laughs> that is Dead Sea Ruins. If I were an Earth Dragon, where would I be? Doodly, doodly, over here, you see. Told me our next exploration safe would be safer without any sign of threat and monsters. But look at this place! It's all rocks and sand! Boy, is it hot. Well, yeah, I guess it would be. In the desert, you see. They just come out here out of curiosity. They search every square inch, but we found nothing. But first you don't succeed, sink, sink again. It's like, guys, that's quicksand. Okay. Crazy? I warned them, damn amateurs. No, it's okay. I'm a professional. No! Oh, fuck your strips of chicken. Da -da -da. What are you? Fossicker. Ew. Please die. Oh, that's unfortunate. No, it's okay, we're fine. What's funny is, uh, Starkey feels like a reverse Pikmin, where the Pikmin came to Earth instead.
What's it doing? What is this thing? We can't get through with this in the way. Can we just push it out of the way? Not with only me helping. Y'all fuckers can help too, you know? They're like... No. I'd like to point out we jumped into a sand boil. Are you guys alright? I thought you were goners for sure. So the quicksand is the entrance and the sand boil is the exit. Now why couldn't I figure that out? So there was something blocking a pathway you say? Okay, let's take care of it. It may take some time though. Let's see now, I need to assign some men to investigate and prepare explosives. Could you come back in a little while? How long do you think it would take them to move a giant rock like that? Probably at least six to seven days, right? Yeah. So we gotta figure out some way to pass six or seven days in game. Now, how do you think we could do that? Map transition. All right, I think they got it taken care of. Yep, look, it's taken care of. You see that monster over there? Still as a rock cat, it's called a rock roach. It won't attack you as long as you don't approach it. It's pretty much harmless. But I tell you, that thing must weigh a ton. Sure, I'll take some. Scared me, don't creep up on me. I'm saying that things behave here, so just keep quiet. The thing's been walking back and forth for a while, maybe so, but I'm not stupid enough to fight it. I threw a rock at it and it just kind of clammed up inside its shell. Maybe you could just push it over while it's in that form? It's like just attack it by the cliff. Got it. Attack it, I shall. Looks like Team Rocket's spinning off again! Oh, no, it came back. My bad. Killed a rock boy. Da, 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 da.
I can't believe you've done this! Got a lot of Dendora. Maybe if three sand jets combine their forces, you could create one powerful sand boil. Got it. So what you're saying is you've got to make it go boom, boom, pow, because that thing is jacking your style. Ah, oh, you yellow belly! We did the pew pews! Let me push it. So I either screwed it up or I screwed it up. I'm not sure. Let's take care of this one first that I didn't even notice until now. Fucking obviously. What the fuck? Now it's just like, oh yeah, you are touching it in the right direction.
I wonder what the Earth Dragon looks like. We gon' find out, though! <clears throat> Looks like it's a dead end. Could this just be a natural cavern of some sort? It doesn't seem like a ruin. There's no point saying here, there's absolutely nothing. I love Starkey just upside down. Thou who art bound by fate, what power dost thou seek? Pizza! The power of pizza! Uh, what are you? You look like a catfish with legs. The time has come. I shall grant my powers to the one who seeks to break the eternal chains of fate. I seek the dragon god's blessing. Yes, a catfish with massive honking legs. Graviton one. Then we do free fall one. That should have done a lot of damage, yo. You know, if you think about it. Because, like, you know, increasing gravity on somebody with already a large mass should do a lot of massive damage, get it? You know, we utilize that word mass with massive and, you know, whatever. Domage, that didn't do enough damage. I know, right? That's okay, we're bringing out Mother. <clears throat> Giddy breath. Fargo's like, Fargo, don't feel giddy. Fargo, feel far great. Giggity. <clears throat> Thank you, Quagmire. It's like a really poor knockoff Godzilla, really. That's how I interpret this guy. Yeah, I'll soul. I want to see the unicorn. 
Oh, he's close to dead, though. Oh well. I was hoping he wouldn't use an ability. All right, let's see what happens when we summon our unicorn. Oh God, poor Fargo. Damn, Fargo. Holy horse, we summon thee. That blue mohawk. Oh God, it's farting. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Falls and does massive damage to everybody. <laughs> well done, son of man. Thy strength is worthy of my powers. There you go. I too shall watch over thy fate. How are you gonna do that? You're pretty large, big guy. It's not, it's not gonna be easy now, will it? It's like, no. But I will lumber silently behind. I'm like, oh. Okay. We made it up, but how are we supposed to get back down? Maybe we jump down just like we did before? Okay. <laughs> nice. My bag.
Okay. I hate how long it is whenever you, like, teleport around. It's just like, freeze! And then move. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Are they quarreling among themselves? It's pretty one-sided. Let's help them out. Stop, aren't you comrades? It's salt and pepper, but monsters. He be not one of us, and neither be you. We be finishing him off later. It's the salt and pepper of the monster world. Except for we just got double pepper, but no salt. Thank you for helping me. You be but brave. This be but a token of appreciation. It be by ancient fruit which grows in ancient ground. What is ancient fruit? I don't know if that be but to your liking, but that fruit be but tasting good. If you run out, don't be but afraid to ask. I have plenty and I owe you one. Can I have more fruit, Beba? Sometimes you just need to beba scream. Beba ah! <sighs> so which do you like better? Chrono triggers travel through time to the same locations, or Chrono Cross is traveling across dimensions to the same place, just an alternate u universe, reality, dimension. That flute, if Biba handed down in Biba family, it be Biba mine too. Biba ba ba ba! Why you Biba live? What happened to Wingapede? Bring shame to Biba family if we've always Biba defeated. Time for Bevenge! Biba Biba! Poor Biba. A Biba defeated! Yeah. I personally think it would have been better if they also didn't try to utilize Chrono Trigger. Like, uh, this is considered a sequel 
for reasons we'll find out at the very, very end of the game. But I really think this should have been its own standalone. Because it is its own standalone. But then they try to weave things together at the very end. I'm just like, no. I be very sorry. Here, I give you this. This be the ancient fruit found. All you have to do is blow the Beba fruit, that Beba the truth. If you blow the fruit further from down the branch where my friend Beba standing, you will be able to ride wing a to ancient ground. Why do you have ancient fruit? Oh well, that Beba no business of mine. Wish you the be best of luck. No. It's a sequel as much as Final Fantasy Two is a f sequel to Final F in a C1. Which is, it's not. They share names and similar ideas. We need Biba Flut. able to make it back if we blow the flute again here. Yeah. You come um from sky? Ooga booga! You friend of father? Father? You know um brother? Father is um brave warrior. Leah lose um father when Leah very little. Grandma says um father um went um to sky. You come um from sky so Leah think um you know um father. Uh, we're sorry, Leah, but we don't know your father. By the way, where are we? Leah don't know him either. Leah face some um, land anger and end him up here. Villagers not him here. Only Leah and he come him here. What was that, the green dragon? He pretty tough him. Leah, help him if you fight him him. Leah winning him so far. She temporarily, um joined our party um. Sure, you can join us, Leah. Leah um fight um with um us um What in God's name is that abomination? What did we just pick up? I don't even know anymore. She's got a fucking axe. She reminds me of Aya. Or whatever her name is. Ava? Aya? Ayla! Which is what she's probably supposed to remind you of. is a praying mantis? Bullshit. No, sorry. It is a prey mantis. My bad.
Oh, yeah, 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 of course, of course. What is that fat fuck doing? Polly wants a cracker. Polly gonna get deaded. A pterodact. I swear, this is a thousand percent a reference to Ayla. It's got a dinosaur, for God's sake. Jurassic Beat! These are some long ass attacks, yo. Unfortunately, it looks like Starkey and him are both uh, very, very angry. Can y'all not attack your partners, please? Doesn't look like that'll be possible, so... This is gonna get annoying, I think. Ugh. Why are you turning him yellow? A lot of dender right there. Which is really nice. No! Basically, yeah. That looks painful.
Speed up your dance, you asshole. It's not berserk either, it's actually confusion, it sounds like. So our goal right now is we have to beat everybody, every single person, on this location, which sucks. But remember, we already took care of Lavos too, Ahmad, so... We don't have to worry about that shit no more. No, instead we have to defeat the Goddess of Fate, which is hilarious. Cause like, you go from the first game, obviously, where you're like fighting, uh... You know, an alien symbiote. And this time you're like, no, now you're gonna fight a god! Yes, it's just like, yeah, I mean, that is the natural sequence.
I can't wait for you to see who we have to fight soon. <laughs> and you're gonna be like, okay, they're really pulling out, you know, the Chrono Trigger vibes here. You're gonna be like, are you kidding me? Okay, come on. Go down the fucking ladder, you ass munch. Oh, I think I gotta cap my door. You should be interested. there's like three more enemies we have to beat. Four. Bro, how many fucking enemies are there in this location? Man. Ugh. Too many is the answer. This is just a slog. Uh, well, I was hoping to use Fargo or something, but I guess we won't. We'll use Starkey instead. Okay, or you just miss all of your fucking attacks. Okay, that's real cool game. My odds were definitely not that poor. And yeah, here we are. Oh, great. See, these are fights that should not take us long. But unfortunately, because the game's just like, yeah, no, you're not gonna hit anything, so... Have fun. That should be enough to heal. I hope. Cool. Oh, did we just do an entire cycle through? We did. Oh, okay. This place is just a giant circle. I hate this place. Just die under these giant rocks from the sky! I didn't get poisoned, which is a shocker. But, you know, whatever. Alright. Anyway. 
Gotta fight this asshole. Ah, jungle beats in the middle again. Sped up just because these guys have such long animations. Well, I was hoping not to get poisoned, but because I can't control Starkey. I have no choices! Fuck off! Thanks! A meteorite! Thank god you're weak! Quiet. Oh yeah, we're poisoned. All right, who's the boss here? Why? <laughs> Let's find out. He come um. It's Tyrano! <laughs> A devolved version of Tyrano from Chrono Trigger. Doesn't look as good as you would hope, but I mean, I can't believe you've missed, Fargo! Alright, you only got one shot at this. At least the game lets you leave a boss fight and come back. <laughs> but well, the video game lets you leave the video game and then come back to the video game.
Crunchwrap Supreme? That's a weird attack. Tyranno is dead. What that? Leah. I wonder what this dragon will look like. We'll check it out in a second. I would like to save was this screen. Leah, not know I'm he here. What the fuck? <clears throat> Silence! What is all this commotion? Hmm, I see. Thou seekest relics. Come hither. And now for lunch. Ow! Bop, bop, bop. Ba da 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 ba da ba da ba da 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 ba da 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 You know what sucks is I was trying to get that move. And what does he do? He just fucking immediately goes and uses it immediately. Fuck off, mate. You know what? Fuck your chicken strips. Stole your chicken strips.
Oh, fuck off, mate. I'm just gonna say fuck all of your carnivore strips. Man, you got the flu and poison, motherfucker. Carnivore, asshole, I dare you. Fuck you! Stole it again. Bitch! Can't use Unicorn, but I can use Earth Smash! I don't even think this asshole's close. This dude just loves his fingies shaking in the breeze. He's just like. Whoa. a dragon version of a fucking Malboro. He's a tanky asshole who just belches on you. His whole shtick is he's a freaking teenager who never learned to brush his teeth. Am I supposed to be impressed? Cuz I ain't. Oh, you son of a monkey's asshole.
Probably. Google it. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> The don't was towards a mod who would 100% Google it. <laughs> ah, of course. I'm gonna say Fargo's having a bad time. He is blind, he has the flu, he's poisoned, also he sprained his ankle. Fucking finally, the Marlboro Dragon died. We got a genie in a bottle. Impressive. Sergey, you always fight on monsters like that. Looks some fun. Leah, decide them. Leah, come on with you, okay? Maybe Leah, I'm fine. Father! Ooga booga! She officially joined our party. I should just change her name to Ayla, but I won't. Jesus. Significantly tougher fight than I expected. What's the ancient fruit? Thank you. All right, that's all the dragons in home world. Now we have to go to another world. It's a world like this one, but it's in another place. But first, we must visit Leah home in another world. So how close do you think we're towards the end of the game? If you'd like to know, we are in part... Uh, 22 of this guide. Yeah. 
75%. We're about three quarters of the way through. You were very close. You both were very close. Of course, Cozy was closer. My Biba Flute, no Biba Worka. Oh, right, we already killed the uh, Wing of Bee, didn't we? Whoops. In that case, oh, of course. Oops. Bing bang. But my beep of flute no work. Why no beep of flute work, oh? Alright, we must talk to Bebo. I guess so. We run oh very fast, oh. Might be in the wrong place then. I don't think so. Bebo flute here. No. Bebo flute here. Just slightly off. Okay. Oh, thanks, game. Immediate fight. Love it. Stop attacking me, asshole.
I'm not even gonna heal your poison as much. You can just deal with it. Came all the way here to fight this specific guy. And by this guy, I mean these three assholes. And... okay. Oh, Please don't get Fargo. got snakes and orbs frame. That's right, we did all this for a singular frame called snakes and orbs.
All right. It's fire time. Fuck diddly dog. Da da da. Didn't see that one. I missed a 94% chance shot and a 72 and an 82. Good lord. We Fuck off! They go so fast! Because we did that, we can't climb it, can we? Popsicle sticks. Hmm. Oh, that's a hard ask. We'll come back. I want to see if this melts. It doesn't! Fuck! Oh, whatever. I'm sure it wasn't important. Hey, hey, lad! So we meet again? You look a bit different, but I know it's you. Come on, challenge me again. What do you say? If you beat me, I'll give you the dragon relic and my pet salamander. Seems legit. 
This should be easy. He's a small boy. Look at that. Small weak boy. Oh, now he's angry. He's just like, transform! Now that's a dragon. No! Well, you know what that means. Like, steals wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't a you've got one shot at it. If you fail, fuck you. Oh boy, who doesn't love a chance to steal and do it again? I didn't want him to transform that quickly, but whatever! Perfect. The actual fuck. These aren't supposed to be a hard steals. Ah. 
Fucking finally. Oh, Rip Fargo. Just kidding.
Oh god. Hey, that did zero. Good god, he is just kicking my ass. Oh, that was way too close. <laughs> Meet again. Punch that lava boy. Oh, with a human, get out! He threw a stone at my face! Black Dragon has awoken!
It hath been a long sleep. I am so groggy. You shall provide some much needed exercise. how he spins when he gets hit. Dark Breath is going to be very unfortunate if it lands on enough people. And it landed on Starkey, the worst one to get it. Wonderful. Well, that's unfortunate. Ah, that was fun. Okay. Oh, thanks, computer. All right, hold on a quick sec. <sighs> cool. It's been a while since you froze on me like that, computer. Cool, well, now you're bright. And also on my screen, there we go. Chrono Trigger's now back to its normal size. Holy Focolios!
Bam, ba, bam, ba, bam. Oh yeah, I forgot. Stream avatars is broken. Whatever. I'll fix it real fast. Why not? I was already tapped out. Well, I tapped back in now and tapped out again. Yeah, no, that's been a while since I did that. Annoying. Annoying. Okay, now you don't want to recognize my controller. What I think is really good about this game, though, is the fact that you can grind all you want, but it's not going to change a whole lot because you've got those fixed levels, you know? Like, no matter how many times I uh, grind, it will not change the fact that uh, I don't have levels. Instead, I have the, uh, that system of stars and everything.
Finally. Holy c c c crapoli. Bum ba bum ba bum ba 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 da 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 da. Ah, I thank you for the excitement. Well, he's dead now. You're disrupting the peace. Final dragon. <clears throat> the locals are making a big clamor saying the sky dragon has come back. Something seems to be strange up there. About a hundred years before humans came here, the Dragonians and Demi-Humans existed. Cool. Mm -hmm. Welcome, I am the Sky Dragon. Well done, thou hast gained the protection of the five dragons. Let me test thy skills. Plate, please. Thank you. What a full black field, if we can.
Okay, we got a full black field, but one, I need to get back to Lynx. Two, Lynx needs to get four stamina. But then I need to attack four times before it attacks again. Oh, cool. Internet's out. Well. Cool. And it's back. Yep. Yep, that's what happens when the internet says nope. I just kept playing. It was either gonna fix itself or not, so. Starkey, you barely survived that one. I acknowledge thy skill, I will grant thee the protection of the sky, the dragon. The Dead Sea has disintegrated and the gates of time have been opened. And the divine protection of the six dragons ventured deep beyond the pearly gates across the dimensions. Nah. Oof. 
Alright, I'm done with you, big guy. One must choose one's own path, but as long as one is human, one will sometimes become lost. I pray that your journey will be blessed. How can this be? This is without a doubt a piece of the Dragon Tear. Sergei, I shall bestow upon you the Dragon Emblem. It is the mark of a Dragon Shaman. The Emblem and the Dragon Tear have been handed down by Dragon Shamans for generations. Although the worlds are different, you should be able to receive aid from the other Shaman. Make haste! Okay. I will become wind! Looks like my internet is telling me to wrap this up because it died again. Nope, nope, it's back now. Cool. I mean, with how hot it's been and how much it poured today, I'm not surprised there's internet issues right now. So, whatever. I was planning on doing one last thing and then calling it a day because the next thing is a big boss fight. So, we'll do that next time. You halt! Judging by your appearance, you are foreign-born. For reasons we will not explain, foreigners are not allowed to enter the tower. Please leave. Mm. If we show them the emblem, we might be able to get his trust. Okay. Th that is a dragon emblem. How did a foreigner like you get a hold of it? Welcome, travelers across the dimensions. Bring them before me. Yes, if it is your wish, Miss Steena. As promised, I will lend you the Dragon Tear. I shall accompany you to the fort as well. I just realized something important. I needed to take off other things from him. 
Oh, come back here, Fargo. Thank you. 
Then I guess this is where we can leave it off for today. And we will pick it up again next week. So, anyway. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until the next time, everybody, stay.